So, so uh, my dad actually started me playing music and I uh, took up guitar when I was about 14. Started playing in clubs when I was around 16. My brother was the bass player and uh, yeah, that went on for a while. And uh, so I've always been interested in history and mechanical things. And I can also attribute that to my father. And I was reading a book once on Isaac Newton and there was just like a paragraph in the book where he describes making the first reflecting telescope. So I thought it sounded interesting, decided that I could do that. So I started researching uh, basically how to make telescopes. And I started making this telescope and while I was doing it, I uh, decided I should probably figure out where to point it once it was done just in case it worked. So then I started studying astronomy and I found out it was a lot of physics. Started studying physics on my own, found out it was a lot of math. Started studying the math on my own until eventually it just it got too deep for me to do by myself. So I went back to um, college, undergraduate, to study physics basically a, as a hobby while I was still doing uh, music. So I go into the lab every day and literally I'm working with chaos. So that is, these lithium battery materials are made of lithium, manganese, nickel, cobalt, oxygen, lots of these elements. And when you put these elements together, they all sit in their... So difficult. <laughs> when you put these elements together, they, all of these atoms sit in their own spot in the structure where they're happy. When you start taking lithium out, which is how a lithium battery works, the lithium comes in and out as you charge and discharge the battery, uh, these atoms are no longer happy sitting where they originally were. They want to start moving around. And so it's our job to figure out the right combination of elements, the right, the right way to make these materials, um, to come up with one that, that doesn't want to do this. We have to get these atoms to stay in place while the battery is working and, and that in the end is, would be success.